All right, on today's cook, we're gonna show you how we cook some ribs, hanging them in the cotton gin smoker. Of course, we're gonna start with that Jealous Devil lump charcoal. I've already got plenty in here for my last cook. I'm just gonna have to add a little bit more. All right, that should be it. Just a little bit goes a long way. Of course, we gotta light it up. We're gonna use those boom fire starters. Take this right here, put it in here and light it up. I like to start on one corner, light it. All right, it's going. We're gonna go ahead and put this in here in the cotton gin smoker. Open the door. And now it's time to go prep some ribs. All right, we're gonna prep three racks of ribs. We picked up three racks from Costco's. Of course, we gotta start out with our gloves. Clean Space Projects, that's where I get my gloves. I love using these gloves, they work perfect. I like to keep things clean. I've already prepped two of the racks of ribs, so we're just gonna prep, prep one more. All right, so what I like to do start with first, is notice how that little knuckle there, that's what I call it, little short end. I find that, that final bone and I cut usually one, sometimes two bones, depending on where it's at. But in this case, we're gonna just cut off the, the one bone there. That'll be a nice taste tester later. We won't waste that. And then this side right here, I call it the flap here. You know, I find one bone there that, that's kind of at the end. And then I just cut that off. It's kind of squared off. We got a piece like that, that'll be saved. <clears throat> and then we wanna kind of square this even here. So just take that knife, cut along that line, boom. These will be good scraps. My wife uses these for soups and stuff like that. Now you see we got a nice clean square rack. Trim this up right here, this little seam line here. Don't waste that either. It's all good eats right there. <clears throat> and then if there's any excess fat here, I do this. I don't score, I mean, uh, I don't uh, pull the membranes anymore. I uh, actually like scoring my ribs. You don't notice it, trust me. And it's quicker, easier. So just kind of clean it up real quick. Sometimes that membrane comes off when you do that. Just want to get that little excess out of there. And then I just score them like so. Take it the opposite way. And that's what it looks like right there. All right, these bad boys are ready for seasoning. All right, <clears throat> like I said, we're gonna hang three racks. We're cooking this for some friends and family, so we're gonna keep it nice and mild. We're gonna use our pork and rub to season this. No binder, you can use binder, it's up to you. But yeah, we're gonna season these real good here. Don't worry about it. You can't go too heavy with this. Pat it in. Don't rub it in, right? Make sure you get all edges. Back over on this side. Yep, man, this pork and rub smells so good. The sugars that we use in this rub don't, don't burn like others. So like I said, don't worry about going too heavy with it. That's perfect. We're gonna season these other two racks and we're gonna go check on that smoker. As you can see, that fire is going good. We're gonna close down this door here and let it close the lid and come up to let it come up to temp. Well, the smoker's getting heated up right now. It should be getting close to temp, so it's time to get ready to hang these ribs right here. So I'm gonna take it right here behind that bone right there and get it ready just like that. And we'll be ready to hang these three. We're gonna do all three of these real quick. And then we're gonna go make sure we got some good smoke going in that, in that smoker. We ready to go. 
All right, we're up to temps now. We're right, sitting right about above 275. I'm gonna keep it between 275 and 300. This cotton gin smoker really is very efficient with that Jealous Devil lump charcoal, but we need some smoke in here. So I'm gonna add some of the JD smoke. We're gonna do two of their cherry blocks and then one of their hickory blocks. That's the blend I like to do. Really nice feature also about this cotton gin smoker. I don't have to pull stuff out to get in there. I can just pop in here, open this door real quick. Boom, put that cherry in there. We're gonna put one off to the side and then one right there, the hickory. Shut it down. We're gonna see that smoke start rolling and we're gonna come over here and hang some ribs. Check back in a few minutes. All right, the smoke's rolling. Now it's time to hang these ribs. Open up this cotton gin smoker here. Grab these ribs. We've got three racks here. I'm going to show you how this works here when we rotate them. Hang that first rack of ribs on. Come here, get the second one. Right on there. And the third one is on. Let's get this bad boy closed up, sealed tight. Get those temps back up. Every 30 minutes, we're gonna rotate these. Check back, I'm gonna show you how we do the rotation on this cotton gin smoker. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and rotate these racks of ribs. All right, we're just gonna lift this up just like this, rotate it around. Boom. We rotated these, we're gonna shut it down. Come back in another 30 minutes. I'll let you see inside of it. All right, this time I wanna show you inside when we rotate these racks of ribs here. All right, as you can see the way it's set up here with the three wings, all I gotta do to rotate them is pick it up, rotate it around, boom, there we go. Every 30 minutes, we're one hour in. We're gonna check back before we wrap. All right, let's show you how I wrap these ribs. What I like to do is I like to get about a quarter cup or about a handful of brown sugar like this and I spread it out across here. We're gonna take our original barbecue sauce here and I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top of that brown sugar like that. Boom, that's good right there. We're gonna take that beautiful rack of ribs. Look at that, man, looking good. Meat side down right here. We're gonna wrap it up like this. And boom, we'll wrap these other three and get them back on the smoker. All right, let's get these back on the smoker. Put each one of them on here. Line them up. They fit three perfectly right on top, wrapped like this. All right, it's going to take one more hour. Check back and we're going to dig in. All right, the ribs should be done. It's been three total hours on these ribs. We're going to pull them off right now. Man, I feel the flop right there. Perfect. All right, we're gonna allow these ribs to rest and we're gonna get to cutting and give them a try. Okay, these ribs have had a chance to rest. Let's pull them off here and slice them up. Get in there. All right, let's slice these bad boys up. All right, you see that nice little rack right there? All right, let's go in for that bite. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, these ribs only took three hours. If you wanna see more recipes, please hit that subscribe button and check back.